Okay, we're going to move on now. If you've got a bug question, give us a call at 888-539-8859. We have Charles on the line in Florence. Hey, Charles. How are you? Well, how are you? Good. Well, um, I have a question. It, 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 it definitely is an insect question, but it might not sound like it at first. I have two dogs. Uh, one's a, a, a German short hair and cattle dog mix, and the other is a German shepherd and coyote mix. Wow. And they're wonderful dogs, and I take good care of them, and we take them to the vet, and we give them the medicine every month, you know, for heartworms and also the other medicine to keep insects off of them. The question I have for you is this. My daughter adores these dogs, and frequently I come home, and she has them in the house and up on the bed, and I've come home before, and they've been asleep in, in the bed with her and all, and they seem fine. I've never found anything in the bed or in the house for that matter but i just wonder if that is if is that safe or is that not safe or is that a bad idea or, or what i wouldn't worry about it i no. have two dogs in my right. bed every night dogs that go inside and outside but dogs that are religiously treated with their heartworm preventative and their flea and tick removal every month yeah so so this is anecdotal information charles but uh, we all have pet well Char- charlotte and i do we know and the uh, our pets are often up on our bed. How about you, Cam? Does your little dog is he allowed up on the bed? My my little dog has stayed in South Carolina with my uh, with my ex wife and the boys. Ah, uh, but uh. we do we do have a cat now, and the cat spends much of its time, as you know, on the furniture, the table, the kitchen counters, and anywhere else that it can get. Yes, of so. course. And Charles, so you're getting a little far afield of our entomological expertise, yeah. but I I think the 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 systemics that that are used on the pets are not going to transfer to you in the bed. Well, the other the other concern is the fleas and things, and yeah. any flea that hops off of the dog uh, onto the bed or the furniture is probably not going to be long for this world if you are treating them properly. Right. So, you know, there'll be a dead flea, but trust me, you got dead bugs in your house already. Okay. okay. Well. Okay. Well, that, that makes me feel much better. I certainly appreciate that. Well, and okay. you know, and, and our dogs and a lot of other dogs regularly go into nursing homes and are put right up on the beds with very ill patients. And, uh, you know, that's that's sort of, uh, again, anecdotal. But, but dogs and humans, as long as dogs are kept free of pests, you know, yeah. are, are pretty compatible. And this is the important point we often make. You want to keep treating your, your animals year-round year round, yeah. um, and not take a break in the wintertime because the fleas are out there. Uh, the ticks are out there, and uh, you, you don't want them to be able to take hold. But those systemics, if they're kept maintained on your pet, uh, will do a wonderful job in, in controlling the flea infestations, potential infestations. So enjoy those nice dogs. They really do sound like two really good combinations. Well, they are. They're, they're delight. They're rescued. Yeah, they're yeah good for you. Yeah. Well, good. All right. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Charles. Thank you.